what's up everybody? This is uh, Underground Dungeon, owner, operator of Underground Dungeon, uh, Benny Blanco. Uh, got a couple of questions that were sent to me. Tell us about the pawn shop and collector scene in your area. Well, there really ain't that many collectibles shops around here. There are a couple of pawn shops, but uh, the reason why mine is different is that I take everything. Um, swords, knives, um, any and all sports memorabilia, collectibles. Um, also, I would say um, there really ain't one other than my I've been around for about three years now in this location, maybe about six months, and I have come across some strange things, uh, jewelry, games, a little bit of everything. On to the next question, how did you get started in the business? Well, it was roughly about four years ago, I woke up one day and uh, I decided enough is enough that I want to be my own boss. And I got off my crazy cousin Derek, and we decided to open up our first store in Lynn. Um, he was pretty much with me for the first year, but it was hard for him commuting and everything. But he's still a very uh, valuable asset to the business and everything. I value his opinion. Um, he holds me down sometimes, like when I'm debating about something, and uh, he surprises me out of the blue and gives me some. Uh, Pretty good advice. Uh, explain how your store is different, unique from other stores. Uh, answer that earlier. Mine just goes from anything from CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, uh, UFC autographs, uh, Sons of Anarchy. Uh, take a quick look. Uh, candy, computers, high-end electronics, iPads. Uh, a little bit of everything. Uh, outrageous customers. Oh, geez, that's uh, outrageous customers. More or less, I get people, um, they think their stuff is worth money, and when it comes down to reality, I show them, I go online, that they think it's worth $175, only worth about 10 Because you got to factor in, uh, it takes up prime real estate in my store, uh, eBay fees, PayPal fees, if I decide to sell online, um, outrageous, uh, they, there's been times people start yelling, arguing, coming in drunk, 2, 3 in the morning, banging on the door, hey, it's still open, sometimes they even come with their kids, jeez, the kids should be in bed sleeping, 2 o'clock in the morning. Open up, open up, and it'd be me and my cousin Derek playing some uh, video games, and they're like, I, I want to buy something, I'll sell something. I'm like, Jesus, <laughs> go to bed, save it for tomorrow. Uh, the bets, the cinnamon, the challenges, uh, more or less, it's like a manly bet that you lay it down. You, you, you put either the money on the glass, you put the cinnamon on the glass, you just challenge. Um, there will spend times Derek will be holding firm, be like, I know the answer, I know the answer. Yeah, he doesn't know the answer. And then I'll prove him wrong, he'll get even more mad. And he'll be like, ah, the beast, the angry monkey will come out and start, you know, yelling, screaming, tossing things. Uh, there's been times he knocks over the table. We'll be putting our drinks on a table and he'll get upset and the table end up going across the shop. Uh, that crazy monkey. Uh, which direction do uh, you want the business to expand? Jeez. Uh, in the next two years, I'm going to be honest with you, this first year has been a struggle, but I really, really want to keep it going. And possibility of opening a second store. Maybe Albuquerque, New Mexico, in the mall. I'm really, I really want to make it grow. I mean, I look at where I've been. I mean, the old times me and Derek, when we first opened up, we had nothing. Just a couple figurines and dust, nothing. We almost had clothes, um, it was, but we just kept it going. We just kept fighting and 
struggling? Uh, what's it going to take to get to the next level? Um, just determination, hard work and determination. Uh, me and Derek grew up, our parents hard, hard workers, working 80 hours a week. That's where we get it from. Um, there's so much more I want to do. I want to go out to the movies, but I'm here. 80 hours a week, I don't take days off. Uh, tell us about a time when you and your dad or Derek disagreed about the business. We're always butting heads. I want to keep expanding. He doesn't really want to. Uh, he wants to keep it small, but we disagree about anything. Just walking down the street, we'll stop disagreeing. Uh, we'll disagree about prices on different things, how much things sold for, but we'll argue and stop. You know, he'll pull something out, and then I'll start dancing in front of him, make him even more mad. Uh, tell us about some crazy things Derek's have done. Uh, Derek has done so many crazy things. Uh, there was one time when we first opened up, he uh, pulled the fire alarm by accident, and the police came in the fire truck. He's like, what's this? I'm like, Derek, did you see in case of fire only? And he just pulled it. Fire engines came. This was when we had nothing here. There was nobody here. Uh, I'll show you the fire alarm in a minute. Uh, yeah, but it, it was definitely crazy. Uh, married, single, kids. Uh, currently, I'm single. I do have a son. Uh, I really don't want him getting into the business until later, later on in life. Uh, I try to keep him away. I'm more of uh, old-fashioned. Stay in school, do your homework, uh, be a kid. Uh, so he really doesn't come around the shop that often. Why should my show be on TV? Um... I mean, there's been times I'm real serious, but then majority of the time I'm very easygoing, jokeful, playful. I tease the customers. They'll be like, how much is that? I don't know. And the price is right there in front of them. I'll have it labeled right in front of them how much it is. Is that for sale? No, it's not. And I'll look at them and I'm like, if it's in there with a price on it, it is for sale. I mean, I pick on customers all the time. I'll tell them uh, it's worth a nerd rope, a piece of candy. They're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, it ain't worth nothing. Here you go, here's a bag of chips. Uh, when I first opened up, a customer came in, brand new video game. I mean, it was just came out. It was worth about 50, 60 bucks. I gave him a bag of chips for it. And I was just I'm like, here you go, that's it. He's like, okay. And just put it on his way down the street. What an idiot. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, the real reason why I think I'll be on TV is that we're real. We're not fake. We're not pretend. The stuff you see in my store is real people, not actors, not staged, where you can see the microphones on them, like on Hardcore Pond. I mean, seriously, you got security taking the guy up, and you see the microphone on them. I mean, come on. The people here, it's real TV. It's not fake. We don't set it up. It's, it's it's reality. I mean, we're not like, you know, anybody else. I mean, we're different. We are who we are here. Uh, Derek's a nut. I mean, he don't pretend. He's crazy. He's nuts. He tases people. Uh, not bad, but... I mean, that's about it. Um, oh, uh, the fire alarm is right over there. Uh, I mean... You can see fire alarm, pull in case of emergency, and he just yanked it. And he was like, rrr, rrr. they came. Uh, well, that's about it. Uh, well, until next time.